Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a URL shortening within Matomo Analytics thanks to a community plugin which have been developed by uh, Michal Gatzik that uh, you can find over here. So Michal Gatzik on GitHub. And uh, what this plugin is doing is it's installing within Matomo Analytics the possibility to um, shortener your URL and to be able afterward to communicate it on a social network. So in order to install it, it's very easy. You just need to go within admin and then you need to activate the plugin. Okay, so this is what you can see uh, up here. You can uh, just go here on the marketplace and install the shortcut tracker. Once you do it, what is going to happen is that you're going to have a new uh, place within your general setting just here down below in order to uh, configure it a little bit. So here the URL that you're going to indicate correspond to the URL on which you would like to apply the redirect. So let's say that's the URL uh, which will be the uh, displayed one as a shortener uh, URL. So of course you need to have the control over this given domain name. So in my case, my domain is matomo.flossmarketingschool.com. And in order to be able, of course, to activate that out, you need to use an HT access file. And for this, you need to go on the documentation at github.com of this given plugin. If you are using Apache, you need to click over here and then you need to copy and paste this given file in order to allow the redirect to be done thanks to the given uh, regex. And this given regex is going to uh, redirect the URL that you are indicating to the one uh, which is over here, which has a special code which will represent uh, the shortcut. So uh, URL shortening is very interesting in terms of branding. So for example, in my case, it allows me to communicate either about one of my website or any external website thanks to this given domain name. Here, my domain name is quite long, so it may not really be uh, what we expect from a shortener URL, but that's uh, that's good for branding anyway. And here down below, you are indicating where you are going to send uh, the traffic to the interaction uh, when uh, it's uh, about a URL that you are redirecting to an external website uh, because you have to know that this uh, shortcut tracker is measuring in fact events every time that someone's going to click on your URL. So once it's done you just click on save and then you are all set. So once the plugin is activated, so of course uh, you need to activate it uh, before, then uh, you will see that uh, you get this given a uh, link which is appearing named shortcodes and here you can click on generate shortcode it you are indicating what is the website that uh, you would like uh, to track so for example let's say in my case it's going to be like uh, i don't know twitter.com or whatever you want so generate the shortcode here it's giving you the url on which you can communicate so that's the given url that you're going to insert in any social uh, network or any other, um, let's say, communication material. And every time that uh, you go on, you fire this given URL, as you can see, it's not working for me. And why is it? Why is that? Yes. Oh, that's because I forgot to mention that it's HTTPS, okay, HTTPS, and then generate the shortcode. I get it, and then it's going to be redirect to Twitter. So as a result, in fact, here in uh, here in Matomo, yes, when this given URL will be uh, executed, you get extra reports which will be filled in. So here. I can have a look. So here in my case, this is where I need to check it to uh, the account that I indicated as the one who's gonna track the external URL because this one was an external URL. And you get in fact the different shortcut which have been fired, the number of visits that it generates. So it's very useful if you are communicating on external uh, platform. It's telling you what are the different uh, websites that you shortened and um, as well what people uh, did afterwards and um, and that's that's mainly it uh, then you can follow within the visits log and what happened so here in my case it's 
some events because they were all external links. So that's where it's very interesting. And this is what uh, the developer of the plugin is um, encouraging you to do is really to set um, website ID just in order to record those given traffic, which are not uh, directly linked with uh, with your website. So that's uh, that's the thing. And what is very great as well is that you can use it, of course, with other communication materials. So in my case, for example, thanks to a piece of advice that gave me uh, Lucas, you can use the offline QR code uh, generator of um, the Firefox add-on in order to generate, um, let's say, um, QR code out of this uh, short code URL and as a result, every time that someone's gonna fire, um, is gonna, let's say, scan this given QR code, you're gonna get uh, the information as well that it was a short code, it was a redirect. So that's, that's really a cool feature in order to track any interaction that you're gonna make on social network instead of using websites such as Bitly or uh, anything, anything else. And that's it uh, for today regarding this great plugin. Uh, I would say it's not very difficult to install, but you really need to be careful with this uh, HT access thing because of course it's a bit technical. So you need to know uh, what is HT access and you need to double check that uh, the regex is working well for uh, your given uh, website. Once more, uh, thanks for watching the video of the Floss Marketing School. As an exercise, please try to install this given plugin and uh, try to support it as well by giving, uh, let's say, um, um, let's say any feedback uh, to the developer of these plugins in order to make it uh, even greater if you have some uh, improvement uh, to suggest. Once more, thank you for watching and please do not hesitate to share uh, this video or even create your own video and share them on social networks. Thanks for watching.